Hey guys, welcome to my first skin tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this really cool rainbow ripple effect in GIF. So the first thing you guys want to do is go File, New, 600 by 450. Or create a 600 by 450 template. And you just hit, hit OK. So now what you guys want to do is you want to take the paint bucket tool, make sure your foreground color is black and you fill it in with black. Then what you want to do is you want to click on your foreground color and set the foreground color in the HTML notation to the following number. And then hit OK. So you want to take your background color and make sure your background color is black. And hit OK. Now what you want to do is you want to grab the blend tool, make sure it's from foreground to background, and the shape is radial, and you want to drag a line from the center to the lower bottom part. And you should get something like that. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is you want to make a new layer. Okay. And you want to go into filter. Oh, right. You want to go on your new layer first. Take the paint bucket tool. Set it back to its original and fill it with black. And then you're going to go into filter. Um. Render. Oops, render. Clouds. Difference clouds. Alright, so once you have the dialog window, you want to change the random seat to 3, the detail to 15, the x size to 16, and the y size to 0 0.1, and you want to take the turbulence, turbulence, and then OK. And let it load. And now you want to make it look sharper. So what you want to do is you want to make sure this layer is selected. You want to go into Filter, Enhance, Sharpen, and you want to change the sharpness to 72. And hit OK. And now it looks a lot sharper. So now what you guys want to do is grab the blend tool. <coughs> oh, sorry. Create a new layer. Okay. Now grab the blend tool. Oh, sorry. Um, change the shape to linear, and change the gradient height to. You just gotta go down, and you're gonna see. Oops. You're gonna see two full saturation spectrum. You can't read the rest, but pick the set. You want to pick the second full saturation spectrum. Click the second one. And then you are going to make sure it's linear and apply it horizontally. We Alright, that's just going to work. Now what you want to do is you want to click that new layer one. And you want to set the mode to overlay. And you are going to duplicate the layer. Okay. And, oops, um, my bad. I hit make a new layer. You that layer. You want to duplicate this layer. And you should have something that looks like this. So now what you want to do is you want to unclick the eye on the background and then left click on the very top layer and hit merge all visible layers. Um Yep, merge visible layers and then you hit merge. And then this will be merged and then you can recheck the eyeball on the background. So now what you guys want to do is you want to get the um, pre-select tool and you want to sort of draw like a wavy, um, yeah, a wavy wave. Yeah, not the best wave. Oops. Um, yeah. And then you're going to click it, it's going to make a selection. And then what you want to hit is select. Feather, and you want to change that to 70 pixels, oops, 70 pixels, and hit OK. And you'll get it sort of rounded. And if you don't like where it is, you can, um, oops, actually, never mind that. I, never mind. Yeah. So it'll sort of, the feather will sort of round it up for you and make it look cleaner. Now, with the selection still selected, you want to left click on the rainbow layer and hit, um, Add layer mask, sorry. And then you want to click on selection, you want to make it to selection, and then hit add. And you should get something like that, and then you want to click on the eyeball through the background layer. So let me check it, I thought I did that before. And you want to click the eyeball, and then you need to select none. And there you have it, your ripple rainbow effect. Looks pretty cool. And if you want to even do more, you can take text, and you can write. Um, anything you want, like, what, uh, 
yeah. Um, just edit that text. Move that. So, the Gothic. Is five point seventy. Oops, forty five. And you know. And you can change the color, but like just play around with what you want to do for the text. But yeah, there you have your rainbow ripple effect. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.